Microbes which are useful in the sewage treatment. What is sewage? Generally, we use lot of water to maintain hygiene by using washrooms, by cleaning cloths, by cleaning utensils and by cooking. Lot of water enters into the drainage system and rainwater also enters into the drainage. So, this waste municipal water called as sewage. In the sewage, what is the large amount is human excreta. So, this sewage contains large amount of organic matter and microbes which cause so many diseases. So, that is why this sewage directly we could not discharge into the natural water bodies like rivers. Before disposal, compulsory sewage must be treated in sewage treatment plants to make less polluting. That means we have to remove the organic matter and disease causing microorganisms from the sewage by treating in sewage treatment plants. So, this sewage treatment completed by following two stages. First is primary treatment and second is secondary treatment or other name is biological treatment because in the secondary treatment microorganisms are used in the primary treatment. In this treatment only we can remove the floating particles and uh, deposited particles, uh, sand and uh, pebbles, gravel like structures. In the primary treatment, two steps are there mainly, filtration and sedimentation. Here what happens, we will see. This is sewage treatment plant diagrammatic presentation. Up to here, this is primary treatment. Then the next one, this is secondary treatment. One by one, I will explain. Through this pipe, raw sewage is coming and passes through some filters. These filters separate floating debris. So, by filtration, floating debris is removed from raw sewage. Then, after filtration, this sewage passes through some grinders. These grinders completely mash the organic matter and uh, crush the some small pebbles and stones like. And uh, finally, this sewage passes through this pipe and enters into settling tank. Here, for some time, the sewage settled. What happens? The sand and stone particles deposited at the base. So, the small pebbles and the sand particles called grit. This is removed from this. And the remaining liquid sewage passed through this pipe and entered into other settling tank. So, here also, sometime the sewage settle. At that time, any solid particles are present. These solid particles also deposited at the base. That is called primary sludge. This primary sludge passes through this pipe and enters into anaerobic sludge digester. I will explain explain about anaerobic sludge digester here. Then after removing the solids, primary sludge, the supernatant one called primary effluent, this passes through the pipe and enters into aeration tank. From here onwards, we have to call it as secondary treatment. Okay, I completed primary treatment that is done by two processes, filtration and sedimentation. By filtration, only floating debris separated by sedimentation, sand and stones separated called grit and after that, the solids deposited at the base that is primary sludge enters into anaerobic sludge digester and the remain effluent, the primary effluent, now it is entering into secondary treatment into an aeration tank. This aeration tank is continuously mechanically moved. To this aeration tank, continuously air is also pumped by the air compressor. So, in this aeration tank, a lot of air is present. That is why aerobic bacteria can grow large in number. So, these aerobic bacteria grow vigorously and form flocks. These aerobic bacteria completely digest the organic matter which is present in the primary effluent. So, here organic matter is completely digested by the aerobic bacteria by using oxygen. Oxygen, where is oxygen? In the air. Air is continuously pumping by this air compressor. So, that is why here finally BOD, biological oxygen demand is reduced. Here biological means aerobic bacteria. Bacteria. Oxygen means by using oxygen, the bacteria completely using the organic matter. So, whenever completely organic matter is decomposed, the biological, the bacteria won't need the oxygen. So, automatically biological oxygen demand reduces. Then only this treatment stops. Then after reducing of this biological oxygen demand, what happens? The organic matter is completely decomposed and it is very cleared. Then this water passes through this pipe and again reach another settling tank. Here what happens? In the aeration tank, the aerobic bacteria grown in flocks. 
So these flocks, aerobic bacteria flocks, again here settle down and pass it through this pipe. The flocks of bacteria called activated sludge. The remain effluent. So it is very clear. It is not having any bacterial flocks. This remain liquid sewage water by adding some disinfected. If it may have any disease causing microorganisms killed by adding this disinfectant and finally this water discharged into river water. Then this activated sludge again passes through this pipe. Only little amount of activated sludge sludge again by this return sludge pump by this machine again enters into this pipe and mingle with primary effluent because the liquid after completing after reducing BOD all bacteria enter into this tank. So here no bacteria. So that is why we have to add again the aerobic bacteria to the primary effluent for the next procedure as inoculum. Only little amount only added to this one. The remain major part of activated sludge passes through this pipe and here mingle with the primary sludge. Primary sludge means the solids are deposited at the base here. So primary sludge and activated sludge both are mingled here and enter into the anaerobic sludge digester. So anaerobic sludge digester I will explain in the next diagram. This is anaerobic sludge digester. So that primary sludge and activated sludge enters into this anaerobic sludge digester by this inlet. So here what happens this uh, primary sludge and activated sludge. These both are completely digested by the anaerobic bacteria. So here you have seen aerobic bacteria only. Here only aerobic bacteria which can act in the presence of oxygen. But here the bacteria only in the absence of oxygen only they survive. So in the absence of uh, oxygen anaerobic bacteria completely digest uh, the activated sludge and uh, primary sludge. By this activity so many harmful bacteria and uh, fungi completely digested and finally biogas is produced. This biogas released out. This is also connected to a pipe and uh, this is stored and connected to some nearby houses are sealed in a, some gas cylinders and uh, after completing the digestion process, the liquid passes through this pipe and uh, releases into natural water bodies like rivers. In the biogas, main is methane is present and the CO2 is present and H2S some moisture. 